Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And The Rock and Chris Evans try to rescue Santa Claus and save Christmas, but... Can they save this movie? My review of the 2024 action comedy, Red One, coming up now. After Santa Claus, codename Red One, is kidnapped, the North Pole's head of security, Callum Drift, must team up with the world's most infamous bounty hunter, no, not Boba Fett, Jack O'Malley, in a globe-trotting, action-packed mission to save Christmas. So what did I think of Red One? I thought it's an awful action-adventure Christmas comedy. It's directed by Jake Kasdan, who's also known for directing Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Bad Teacher, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Jumanji, The Next Level. This is the type of movie you'd think was a fake trailer shown in front of Tropic Thunder, and interestingly enough, anything that looked remotely entertaining about this film is shown in its trailers. Somehow, the film's budget was $250 million, which means it must be some sort of money laundering scheme, because it sure doesn't show on the screen. For a Christmas film, it's lacking in magic, and there's barely any charm. In fact, Terrifier 3 has more holiday spirit to it. It's also hard to decide who the film was made for, as it's a bit too childish for adults, but too dark and dreary for kids, and has more adult language than you might expect. I enjoyed the first 10 minutes of the film and the last 5 minutes, but in between that, it flatlines hard and surprisingly becomes painfully dull. It takes cliches from Christmas movies and tropes from modern action blockbusters and throws them all into a blender and splatters it all onto the screen. Everything becomes 1,000% predictable, where you could win big in Vegas by betting on what one of the characters is going to say to another next. The action sequences are unremarkable and easily forgettable, including the uninspired snowman battle in Aruba. All of the comedy falls flat on its face, and I never laughed or even chuckled once throughout the runtime. Oddly enough, the cast, minus J.K. Simmons, who feels like he understood the assignment, is playing it way too straight and serious as Shakespeare. There's also a subplot shoehorned in of Jack being a bad father, which is cliche and schmaltzy. Any kind of messages the film is trying to convey become too preachy as well. The runtime goes on way too long as well, clocking in at an excruciating two hours, and easily could have been edited down by at least a half an hour. There's also zero chemistry with the pairing between Johnson and Evans, and to the surprise of no one, Dwayne Johnson is once again playing Dwayne Johnson, and Chris Evans is playing Ryan Reynolds. Dwayne Johnson stars as Callum Drift the head of North Pole security for Santa Claus, who's stepping down after losing his faith in humanity, the parents at least, Chris Evans as Jack O'Malley, the hacker and bounty hunter recruited to find St. Nick, Lucy Liu as Zoe Harlow, the director of the Mythological Oversight and Restoration Authority, J.K. Simmons as Santa Claus, the jacked-up giver of gifts who gets kidnapped, Kieran Shipka as Grilla, the monstrous Christmas witch who has an evil plan, and Christopher Hovju as Krampus, the estranged brother of Santa. Red One is one of the worst Christmas movies I've seen in years, and is the cinematic equivalent of unwrapping a turd on Christmas morning. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Which means, Red One, I only got two words for ya. Suck it. Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. 
But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.